As a farmer in this productive nation of ours, you have unequaled independence of action and the complete freedom to choose the equipment you believe meets your needs best of all. This invariably brings together machines in all the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple too, perhaps. One color may be dominant in your collection of farm equipment, and you may prefer tractors of a particular make. Whatever that may be, we'd like to present a complementary implement that's unsurpassed in performance, and that can be matched to a tractor of any color perfectly. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, yes, even purple. white plow that's oblivious of color, that goes with power in any hue, that goes with most any hitch, and that just goes better than any other plow you can choose. It's a plow that comes in any size, from two to eight bottoms to fit your horsepower, and in a variety of types to suit your particular conditions. There are two fully mounted plows ranging in size from two to five bottoms for three-point inches, a two-way type for irrigated fields and side hills that plows two, three, or four furrows. A pull type with steerable furrow and tail wheels that's available with four to eight bottoms. But this is the plow that established a new trend in plow design, the semi-mounted, beginning with four bottoms and going up to eight. Even though it's the most copied model in moldboard plow history, its performance has never been duplicated. In fact, that goes for all Oliver plow types. They share certain characteristics which enable you to plow more acres per day and plow them better than with any other make. One major advantage of the Oliver Semi-Mounted is its close coupling to the tractor, much tighter than any similar type. Compactness in design along with heavy construction that gives an Oliver extra heft, transfers more weight to the rear wheels. This increases traction, improves stability, aids penetration, provides better control, simplifies adjustment. It helps hold the bottoms at even depth as soil conditions change. It makes an Oliver semi-mounted easier to handle at headlands and in tight quarters. Note how the plow shadows the tractor, how it trails within its spread width on turns. You can hold headlands to a 20-foot strip with this six-bottom unit, reduce plow out time. Remember, all these advantages are yours with a tractor of any color. Or you may have two or more tractors of different colors. No problem here. And Oliver hooks up to any make with draft-sensitive lower links, with little adaptation of any. Even some tractors with draft sensitivity through the top link may be equipped to accommodate an Oliver semi-mounted plow. Your Oliver dealer will show you how simply it's done, and at a low cost. Oliver superiority doesn't end here. It includes trash clearance and coverage, ground penetration, and soil pulverization, protection against damage, transport speed, and convertibility in size and cutting width. Now, let's begin at the bottom, where good plowing and minimum tillage begins. An Oliver Super Radex moldboard is extra heavy, with an extra layer of heat-treated steel on its face. Here's a bottom with a tough, diamond-hard surface that outlasts ordinary bottoms by a big margin. They're hand-polished in the direction of the soil flow, honed to a smooth, glistening super finish by expert craftsmen. That's why they scour so quickly, slice through sticky, gummy soil that plugs other plows. What's more, they reduce draft and save fuel. Radex bottoms can cut plowing costs by a big percentage because they're so much lighter in pull. This enables you to add an extra bottom to your plow under many conditions. You won't waste time digging out trash either. There's plenty of room for heavy cover and tall weeds to roll through this roomy tunnel. Bulky surface material is rolled under, covered completely to control insects, weeds, and plant diseases. Furrow slices are sheared cleanly, fully inverted to expose weed and grass roots to the sun. You won't be troubled with a heavy regrowth from such deep-rooted lagoons as alfalfa. Clearance beneath the backbone is 29 and one half inches, 
Beneath the beams, it's 26 inches. Fore and aft clearance or rake is 27 inches. And here, in slow motion, you're watching the complete pulverization of furrow slices and the special shearing action of perfectly contoured super radex moldboards. They eliminate air pockets, leave level, mellow seed beds. They do as much as three-fourths the entire tillage job. This is another reason an Oliver is your logical choice for minimum tillage practices for wheel track and plow planting. Extra plow weight and superior bottom design also enable an Oliver to penetrate hard ground easily, reach full furrow depth quickly, and hold it through the toughest going. Selective lift permits you to make neat headlands. No straply ends here. Front and rear bottoms can be raised independently and then lowered in the same way. But this is only the beginning in savings and advantages that an Oliver offers. You have a wider choice of beam trips than any other plow provides. First, if stones are only a minor problem, you can equip your Oliver with economical shear bolt beams. For stony land, however, two distinct beam trips are available. This is the exclusive patented cushion action beam trip, a mechanism that excels all others of its general type. Cushion action beams reduce shear breakage by two thirds, end the nuisance of frequent field delay. Again, in slow motion, watch the crumbling, boiling furrow slices as they tumble between the bottoms. And cushioning the impact force of stones are double coil springs. They absorb all minor shocks, permit the bottoms to yield almost an inch before release. But look what happens when you strike a solid object. The bottom swings back and up without jumping the plow. And then it swings way up when released up a full 10 inches from this high pivot point. The share tip doesn't dig in deep, doesn't bear the full load. Among the modern Oliver devices designed to protect a plow in stony land is still another revolutionary advancement, the automatic reset beam, offered only by Oliver. For the first time, here's non-stop plowing in your stoniest fields. When a bottom is tripped, it returns to plowing depth automatically the moment an obstruction is cleared. No interruptions, no declutching and shifting into reverse to reset the plow, no waste of tractor fuel. This is plowing ease beyond your highest expectations. Here's full-time plowing. In a series of tests, Oliver found that a six-bottom plow with automatic reset beams will save eight hours on the average for every 100 acres you plow at normal speed. That puts you about a day ahead with every 100 acres. Mighty important during the rush season. But that isn't all. Here's a finer plowing job than ever before. Immediate return of the bottom reduces unplowed spots to an absolute minimum. And it yields only to the degree necessary to clear an object, from a fraction of an inch to a full cylinder stroke of eight inches. Since there's no need to stop and back the plow, other bottoms aren't disturbed. Besides, you get the benefit of hydraulic cushioning. Minor plowing shocks are absorbed. Severe jolts are softened by Oliver's unique system. In addition, you can equip your Oliver with a multitude of attachments to meet your specific needs. Coulter choices begin with a self-sharpening ripple type, especially effective in cutting trash. Here, in slow motion, you can see why cushion action mounting reduces blade and crank damage. Note how the coil spring compresses as this floating coulter rolls over a rock. And you stay at even depth in stony land because spring-loaded coulters won't bounce the plow out of the ground. Along with attachments of all sorts, there are moldboard and share types to match every soil and field condition for sod and stubble, for stony ground and tough clays. Reducing trailing width of an Oliver semi-mounted is simple. Loosen a couple of set screws and lengthen the tail wheel rod a few inches. This big plow now trails within tractor tread width, making transport down busy highways safe and fast. Passage through narrow gates much easier. Still another Oliver advantage is quick, easy conversion in size, up or down, not just reduction. If your choice is a six bottom semi-mounted, for example, it's a simple matter to change size. You can reduce it to a five-bottom unit by dropping the rear bottom. Then, when you want to trade up in power, 
You can match tractor size by simply adding a seventh bottom and beam assembly. Other plow sizes and types are equally easy to convert. And you can pivot the beams to a cutting width of 14 or 16 inches easily by loosening a few bolts and relocating others. So, when the time comes to select a new plow, remember this. America's significant improvements in moldboard design have come from Oliver. From Radex bottoms to spectacular automatic reset beams. From cushion action coulters to semi-mounted plows that can grow with your power. Remember too, good plowing is the first step in boosting your crop production and profits. And that good plowing begins with an Oliver hitched to a tractor of any color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and even purple.